Hey YouTube, it's Crawley. Uh, here with a another update with the uh, Harlequins that are on the paint station. And say so I've had a a week or so, or maybe a bit longer, where I've not really done an awful lot. Uh, but last last night I was kind of got the paint station out and was cracking on with uh, with doing the diamonds. That's how I'll show you. Here's the troop master. So as you can see, lots and lots of tiny little diamonds. I'd say, in some respects, I think that's why I kind of left it a, a, a short while because doing these diamonds is tedious. And so starting off with the the yellow as the base colour, colouring in all the the blue diamonds, and then. So I don't know if it comes up quite well enough in there where you've got a highlight, I think it shows better on the blue. The top edges have a highlight and then it's all lined with a very fine black line between uh, to make all the diamonds stand out and neaten up any, uh, any rough edges. So all the diamonds are all done to this stage. I think yeah, call the diamonds done, uh, and then I went on and just make out the, just a little bit of pink on him and the purples. They've all been kind of toned with kind of uh, lighter shades, kind of mixing colours. So it might show a little bit better on on this one. Now you can see on the pink, just creating a little bit of light and shade. On that, so the the top edges are the the paler colours. So they're all up to this stage. Uh, all the face masks are done as well, apart from the uh, the golden kind of trim and edges. I've got to now come in with the metallic colours. Uh, I think we start off with the uh, is it dwarf bronze? It's our scorpion. But it's like a, a the dark brown metallic, and then we we'll go over that with a the gold colour, and obviously there's some uh, silver metallics on there to be done as well. So all them are done. Just give you a quick shot of a third one. Again, you can see the the highlight colours a little bit better on there, especially on the pink. It shows a lot more on the pink than it does on the purple. So that's where the harlequins are up to for the second troop. What we've also been doing, we built this fella and he's just had a base coat of black over his cloak and his hood. Um, I was thinking maybe get it looking like a, a black worn leather so I might be getting a sponge and some kind of shades of grey maybe a, a kind of hint of brown in there uh, just weather up the cloak just make it look a bit uh, old maybe like shabby chic whatever they call it uh, and then start coming in with some of the colours uh, and do that filler so that's where we're up to with the solitaire and we've also got this thing built uh, and magnetised so it's it starts off with a magnet on the the base as you can see there and up into that so it will hold uh, the guns only just push fit into place on the bottom but if I bring these up as well the top gun see the magnet in the middle there that's a magnetized it just helps if if you kind of get a weapon destroyed thing you can just pull it off rather than to hang something on or put a marker on just pull the gun off uh, and then the, the two crewmen in the back these have had a magnetized foot so you can, if it will uh, just in the bottom of this is his foot there and you can see the two magnets there and that just helps just hold it in place and again you, you can have kind of crewmen removed 
out so he will just stand in there. I think he's actually designed to, to be holding on to the to the dorsal gun there. Uh, you notice the, these two haven't got faces on the pilot and the uh, the gunner. Uh, these have been done separately. Which ones are they? Oh, these are the ones for the side of the. There's a little socket there for these ones to go into. So those are them. And we've also got a couple of faces still on sprue. Uh, I thought it is easy just to to paint them up straight onto the sprue and uh, there's a third one yeah and then we can kind of stick them on later so that's where we're up to with with harlequins uh, what we're going to do with this one I'll just let me pull the crew and the gun off and you can see better um, the bit that's been painted yellow is going to be like that with the blue and yellow diamonds so I've got to do all that, I've got to, I've got to grid it out with the diamonds and paint all them up uh, exactly in the same style as them but the rest of it is going to be half and half so one half is going to be purple and the other half is going to be pink uh, so I'm not sure which way around the purple and pink but if we get a second one of these I'll just reverse the colours around just to make it look a bit different. But what I've got, I've got a, a couple of decisions to make. Um, let's get it in camera. These panels along the back here. I'm considering, do we do them blue and yellow? To bring in the blue and yellow a little bit more. What do we do with the interior? Do we do them the purple and pink? Or at least some purple and pink. And maybe do the that floor plan, that design, could that be done in blues and yellows? But it's just a little bit kind of intricate and awkward getting into some of them. Uh, so I'll possibly airbrush the colour in there and then come back and do the, the floor at a later date. Uh, but it means masking off quite a lot of the, uh, the work that's already been done. But we'll see, it's a work in progress. I know Mrs. Grawley wants me to do uh, to do all this by uh, by hand, uh, but I'm quite tempted to uh, just do the airbrush on that one, just to get nice even colours, uh, make it nice and smooth, and then the detail I can come back and do by hand. So there we go. I'll put the gun on the top. Put the gun back on the bottom. It's quite a, quite a good fit, the socket on that one, and the magnetised base, so, there we go, that's the, the Star Weaver. So, what are we up to now? About eight minutes, that's enough for this update, like I say, as you can see we've got uh, Troop, and Solitaire, and Star Weaver, uh, all in progress at the same time. Uh, We'll leave it there and we'll come back when well, we've done a bit more with another Harley Quinn update from Grawley's Lair. So for now, take care.